Hi, you may have seen the promo video I created to my Final Cut Pro 10 uh, short course. Uh, this is the one where you see the Final Cut Pro 10 logo slate uh, running behind the iMovie logo in a Pac-Man style. And people ask me how I created it. So let me show you right away how I did it. So right here in Final Cut Pro, you can see the compound clip I created for this animation. So right here below, I just put a stock footage uh, as a background. And we have the Final Cut Pro logo. First, the normal one, then it's turning a little bit. And then I have this compound clip where we have the slate moving uh, Pac-Man style, and then the whole thing is moving around. And then on top, we have the iMovie logo. And again, it is moving around. So we have one going after the other. Now, so the first thing we have to do is create this compound clip where we have the slate uh, opening and closing. Now, one thing we will do better than this time, here you can see I have the same compound clip repeated three times, and that made it a little bit more complicated because I had to make sure that I have keyframes right at the end and at the beginning at the same position. So we'll just make sure that we have a longer compound clip and we won't have to deal with this. So first, how do you get this moving animation effect? Okay, so I opened my Final Cut Pro 10 icon in Pixelmator. You can use any graphical editor that you want. Then I just cut the top part of the slate. Now be careful because there's a slight shadow right below this top part right here. It's difficult to see, but it's here. So when you cut it, you have to make sure that you keep the shadow together with the top part. So I cut that. Now this is the normal one, I left it as is. But here is an example where I have, I'll turn this off, so you see just the bottom layer and just the top layer. Okay, now you can see the shadow right here. So I just moved this part here, moved it, rotated it a little bit uh, to be above, and when I liked it, I just created a new image uh, of it. And I generated another image when it's uh, a little bit closed and another one when it's completely closed. See also in the layers list here on the right, that I put the top part of the slate to be under the main part of the slate because on the top part we see the underside of it and we see the shadow if you recall so I need the main part of the slate to cover all of that so now I have my original icon and three more versions so I have four versions and if I go to my finder here are those files now I just put them in Final Cut Pro and here they are now let's create a new project. We'll call this animated logo. And my logo does not have a standard 1080p uh, size. So I want to make sure that this movie will be 1080p. And click OK. OK, I want to start with the normal icon because we'll be coming in with this icon first and we need it to continue in the same position. So I'll put that first. Then I'll use the one that's completely open. And I have to go back and close it all the way. So I put back the normal position, then the one that's a little bit closed, and then the one that's completely closed. Okay, now if I skim over it, I can see that I have a slight movement here. They're not exactly aligned. Now since I've done this before, I know that I have to correct this here and bring this down to minus one and bring it up by just two. And now those are correct. Now since the third one is exactly the same as the first one, I'll need to copy and then shift command V and paste the position attributes. And that's done. And now if I skim over it, they're all in the exact same position. Now if I play this, this is very, very slow. I have to bring those instead of four seconds. I hit Control D and set the duration to just two frames. All right, now that, that's tiny. So let's take a look. Now if you play this, all right, this is very, very fast. Okay, and I see now that I'm missing uh, the one where it's a little bit open. I have to add this here to the end. That should now complete the sequence. All right. So we have six frames, so now I'm just going to copy all six of them and paste them to have a clip of about 15 seconds 
As I explained before, I want this to be ready in advance to be long enough. Okay, now if I play this, let's take a look. All right, that's excellent. So that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, now let's make this shorter. I'm zooming out. I select everything and I create a compound clip out of it. So that's new compound clip and I click on OK. And there it is. So now we can go ahead and create our animation. So let's call this Final Cut Pro 10 Pac-Man animation. Make sure it's 1080p like I wanted. OK, so now let me put my background right here in the timeline. Let's zoom in to fill in my screen completely. And now we're going to start. Okay, so first I put my normal logo and it will somehow slide in from the left. Let's, let's turn this down until we have a size that we're happy with. And then we're going to put it somewhere here. Okay, now let's put the iMovie logo right on top of it. And this one will need to be even smaller. I think 20% will be good. And let's put it right here. And let's click Done. Okay, now in my original clip, I keyframed uh, this logo coming in and this logo coming in. But we can actually use the slide uh, transition. And that will make it even easier. So I remove the one here and the one here. I want this to be faster, this one as well. Okay, so I want this one to slide into the right, that's correct. And I want this one to slide in going down. Okay, let's take a look what we have right now. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now this one, I can stretch it almost all the way. And now we're going to animate first the icon just turning a little bit. Okay, this is coming in. So right here it's going to start to rotate. So I'm going to add a keyframe right here and then play it a few seconds. Okay, and I'm going to turn it so that the slate mouth is facing toward iMovie icon. Okay, that's enough. I can shorten this icon clip right here and somewhere here the iMovie logo is going to start to run away. Now we're going to animate the iMovie logo first because I will want the slate mouth to always point somehow towards the iMovie logo. So the iMovie logo will point away and then we will animate this one according to that uh, path. Okay, so very quickly, I'm not going to make such a, a great job as I did in my original movie, but we're just going to play it a little bit further, turn it a little bit, move it a little bit up, play a little more, okay, move it higher up, start to turn, okay, and I'm towards going back. Okay, let's go down somewhere like this. So again, I'm playing and playing every few seconds. I'm moving it and rotating it. Let's have one more on screen. And the next one will already be out of my scene. And I'm done. So let's play and see how it looks. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Excellent. Okay, now I'm taking my compound clip and I put it right here. And we can shorten this. And now let's take a look what we have. So I put my plate right here at the end of the logo where when it's already rotated and I will want to use the same values uh, in my compound clip as I used right here. So we have a minus 717.2 and minus 98.8 .8 
and a rotation of minus 20.3 and a 30% scaling. Now I can write all those down and then copy them to this clip. Instead, let's try to copy all those settings. Uh, the problem is that if I copy it, I will get all those keyframes as well. Okay, so instead what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, split this clip right here and I'm going to copy the settings just of that clip and I'm going to shift command V and paste all those attributes right here on the compound clip. And now if we take a look, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so we did not copy all the keyframes over to this compound clip. Okay, now the only thing that's left to do is to follow the iMovie icon. Okay, so first thing I have to do is put the first keyframe when I want it to start to run after the iMovie logo. So we'll give it just like uh, one second, something like that. And right here, I'll put a keyframe. Okay, now let's play it a little bit and we have to follow along. So I move it a little bit further, I turn it towards the iMovie logo, this is too much, something like that. Let's build a little more. Okay. All right, we have to go all the way up here and turn it around and continue this way until we have it done all the way to the end. Okay, again, I'm doing it now faster than I did it when I created my uh, course promo video. But I'm doing it so you understand the main idea of how this was accomplished. All right. And we are done. Now let's play it and let's see how it looks. Okay, again, it's not perfect, but I think you got the idea how it was done and how you can do the same thing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos and please subscribe to this channel. Also, check out our website to see everything else we do and to get discounts for any of my courses. If you have any questions or would like us to cover a specific topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. See you next time!